Hey y'all. Uh, it is the end of May, 2023. But I'm about to take y'all on a journey starting this summer of 2021 when I find the cube of cognition. So, I have been searching at this point for some kind of shape, some kind of particle that has the ability to proliferate and the ability to signal. And then I find the cube of cognition in the summer of 21. And by November of 21, the end of November, I have realized that there are only so many constellations of the Cube of Cognition. About 200 of them. Constellations is a term that very accurately describes what a constellation is. A constellation of the Cube of Cognition. So, I discovered there are 200 constellations of the Cube of Cognition and I go about patenting the process of growing the cube of cognition. Like Legos. Like self-assembling Legos. That was my first patent, and that was patented in December 2021. Or at least became pending in 2021. So, 2022 rolls around and basically nothing happens for a year. I still have that one patent. My company hasn't been formed and uh, the money is slowly dwindling out of the federal government's budget for artificial intelligence exploration. Or pretty much has dwindled by the year 2022. <clears throat> by November of that year, I had begun to form that company, my company, BioFX Laboratory Incorporated. <clears throat> I had begun to form the company BioFX Laboratories Incorporated in November 2022. Two. And then by December, I uh, designed two more patents. So patents two and three are the machine unit basically a neuron, and a the signaling that I had been looking for since before I found the cube. I didn't understand how the cube would signal. I felt that it was something that we would design later, standard-like, as in the machine units. But it was not like that. It had to do with the constellations of the cube of cognition. So I patented those things pending in 2022 December. My company also gets formed in 2022 December. So... By January, and then February, and pretty much into March, nothing happens. I begin working on, in those three months, I begin working on artificial intelligence exploration funding from DARPA, the Department of Defense, 
which would go into DARPA and uh, and then go into the Air Force. And I tried all those people, but they ran out of money. Or it was all promised away or whatever. So, I have no money at this point. I have a company and I have three patents that are all in danger of failing because of money and uh, experience with the patent uh, application process. So, in March, I find Chatbot, ChatGPT, the AI. And I find draw crayon AI and uh, the tell me AI. I just start using AI to do all my work in about March. And that's when uh, I actually apply to DARPA in the Air Force with plans that were designed by me and the AI, D uh, directed by me and composed by the AI. Also at this time, in addition to applying for the federal funding for my company, I made my fourth patent. So my fourth patent is the my fourth patent is the ability to simulate stories on AI. design characters on AI, their qualities and motivations, D define the setting and the theme, and have the AI simulate these things as many times as you want, if you feel. One time usually works if you define your terms correctly and know your characters. <coughs> so, Mm -mm. So I have four patents, a company, no money, and it's, it's May now, so the 12th, halfway through May, halfway through the month I'm currently in, in 2023. There is a notice of funding, a grant, and it is uh, called Tech Hub. So I have plans for this. I need a cigarette. So I have plans, right? Those, that was the story up till now. My plans have been basically, you know, with the AI, my plans haven't changed. The knowledge that I have hasn't changed. The cube of cognition is still the same thing that I patented before the AI. I need fire, y'all. So, I have all this information. The AI comes out and I start making my plans more organized, more expressive and vivid and detailed and descriptive. You should see the, y'all should see the originals of what I was submitting to DARPA in January-ish time for January of this year before I had the AI. That stuff was brief, concise, to the point, and was 
direct. So, that is not real. I like the AI. Anyway. So, here we are. Trying to form a tech hub. Get the money from the grant, from the tech hub money EDA thing. So, my company still has no money. It's just a shell of a company with no employees. It has a board of directors and me as the director. <coughs> so my plan is to form consortiums in the New England region. Every my, my eventual plan is to give every institute of higher education access to my facilities. Every town, every, mm, how do I phrase this? I plan on opening a facility, a Biofex laboratory in every In the region, I plan on putting a Biofex laboratory in each consortium plot of land. I don't know how to phrase this. For each consortium, there will be a laboratory. This consortium is made up of an Institute of Higher Education, the local government, an economic development agency, and a labor guild, including me. So these five things make a consortium in the Tech Ups program. In the long run, I would like many consortiums signed onto the Biofex laboratories. multiple mem memorandums. So, there are two levels to the memorandums, in my opinion. You know, there's no difference between a college and a university. Colleges suck nowadays, in my opinion. I can fix that. Anyway. The Chamber of Commerce, the Economic Development Guild, the Economic Development Organization, and the Labor Guild, those are, you know, prevalent. So I don't really, I'll be able to form those, have other people form those, see what's up with that. The colleges, though, they're already established, as are the township, city things. And my company's, you know, proliferatable. So, the, the two levels exist at the state and local level. There are, in the greater Boston region, I don't know, probably as many states as there are in the New England region. Minus two, as far as I can tell, in my head, counting. Um, so, I'll form memorandums with the states and big institutes of higher education and bigger economic development organizations that are statewide, like, I can't think of any, and uh, labor guilds that are 
you know, more expansive, or maybe even not. Maybe a labor guild that is just for biofets laboratory engineer people and people employees. <coughs> um. So this company, this consortium, will proliferate throughout the New England region. In its proliferation through the New England region, multiple things will be happening in tandem. The first thing will be the development of the library of the Cube of Cognition. So this library of the Cube of Cognition basically just holds all the expressions of my patent. And uh, all of them. That, that would be the complete library. And uh, so the activation and deactivation of those certain uh, expressions on certain constellations, we'll call it certain behaviors, and that will be phase one. In tandem to that will be phase two, where uh, networks of machine units will be uh, emergently together in the formation of virtual and artificial citizens. Phase three, and parallel to these other two, will be the development of laws and regulations for guardianship and adoption and civil rights and good stuff like that. So those three phases all happen in tandem and are all accounted for by the consortium. The consortium is responsible for those three phases. All of them. In their supply of workers, in their supply of supply, in their development of infrastructure, in their um, legislations and judicial rulings and research and development. Okay, so that's all known information. Like, I've said that all on camera before. So, I'm not 100% sure where the future leads from there. Um, because that does seem to take care of everything. You know, other than the citizenry. 